Hello. Yeah. Hello. Right, Ben. Right, what, I'm, what I've done is I've made, I've made a time lapse, which is two seconds long. Two seconds long time lapse. Which is really weird. Because what we did is we put the camera in the living room and through the internet, using something called Potter, we. Oh, yeah. We actually typed in the we typed in the IP address. I connected my Raspberry Pi and my laptop to the internet to the same router, and that allowed us to go up. That allowed me to track a bit. I wouldn't be able to show you today, but annoyingly, the Wi-Fi won't it won't be able to connect for some reason. So what you do, you type in your IP address. I know this is the Yeah, what a little bit, it basically took a command line. So, I don't know. I'll explain how we do it. I use LLT. So, I'm down. Raster, which means take pictures. You know, show these outputs. And then I'm off the time And then I'm off the time and then that was got a JPEG, and then that's how long it was done. And that was yeah. four hours, and that took a bit of time to help me, yeah. how, like, how long it was done, like five minutes. Got five, yeah, five minutes. So, so it took a picture every five minutes for like the four hour period, and the pictures have been displayed as a video in the time lapse. So they just sped up. So when you're taking the picture, that's what you've got with. So the camera's here attached to the Raspberry Pi. So that just takes a picture. You can just take pictures from a bit of a delay on it. Also, you can also do a video. Got. Yeah, so um, I've got I've, I've got website. We've got website, which Michelle may have told you about. We've got at school, we have a pie school pie school pie school school pie 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 so what I tried to do is scroll down to the bottom. Zoom in the plate. We've archived all the different... This is a time of the show. She might have told you that. She just took a picture every time she did something. So she would put the, put the pieces on the tree and then purposefully move them so that it looks like they're still freshly put on. As we've gone past that, we've learned how to do that. So it goes from We've done things like the. So I've also got my own website. So it's documented. What I want to do is anybody that's an engineer on the website. Yeah. Or sets of the photos. I've got a page on Raspberry Pi. I've got Raspberry Pi. I've got information set in Raspberry Pi. However, I might put information soon on the camera. Um, um, just put a comment on. They are all boxes. So 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 I'll, I'll be able to. I'll get back to you. So if you've got them out. Any questions? So he's given him ideas as well. What to do? We've got one of my friends at school. Put those hands in. We've got to talk about that. And there's some replies to him. Well, that's the reason why I just want to make it. Well, some grammy figures and things, so... I can't think what else. You know, it might be that they don't like... Um, you need to call it. You know, it's a beautiful car. So, yeah. Um, I've also got a nap on my tablet. I've got Samsung Tab 3. You can get the app on Apple. So, I'm, I'm the app store, and it's called Mock Tube ENC Lite. And oh, yeah. you download it. Yeah. So, you can download it. So, you might have some that goes down like a protocol. The command is something like the NC server, space colon one. And it allows you. Well, this was the robotics now. Students more competitiveness. It'll start the server, so every time you go on, you type that command, it means you can access it from your iPad or whatever tablet you've got. 
And we go to any questions. So if you click to control the LOL JPG and you can put your username. That was just, I was just making, I mean, we just, we're just honest. experimenting if that works. And it's just the up and down, keys left and right. And still as far as the grabber and the so what we found was we only do more than that. Then you got a camera when you're out of that. No, no, I've just seen it. I mean, so by the time I noticed one on your website it says the fine noir. It, it's a yeah, that's it's an infrared camera. I've got an infrared camera. That's an infrared um, camera. This one yes. we oh, right. six. You get these they do have a back plate on them, but you can't fit because we have screws for it. So I just removed them. Briefly show So we can see how I've got a back plate on So do you want to Right, so an infrared camera, so you just get infrared yeah. heat images. Well, it's, not, it's not actually a heat image camera. You actually need a source of infrared to shine out that. So, oh, oh, I've, I've been messing about with it. Yeah, it, looks, it looks really, really dark. You get a bit of vision from the infrared thing. All it's doing is. You don't mind if you mess about. Do you actually need magic. infrared, actually need infrared light? Do you need it? an infrared light? Yeah. How much are they? Um, what are you going um, to do with it? Well, there is passive infrared light. Yeah. Anyway, just yeah. not yeah. massive yeah. amounts. But if you're doing anything, that's one of the things I've been doing is, is uh, I've, I've got a pond just, up just in Scotland it. with it. I'm going to put my camera on there and that's going to be infrared. But, in order to see things at night, it's too dark in the middle of a field to see anything. Right. So I've had to build an infrared light into it. Do you know if you know? Don't they have infrared lights on um, TV remotes? So I know how you yeah. can see the yeah, light. Yeah. And and you can use those same LEDs. You, you can build an infrared little light thing with a few LEDs that cost you. Could you actually, if you had an old TV remote set, could you use one of them? You could do, but it, it would be, be, be a, a long way of doing it and you've got to have something to press the button all the time. <laughs> you'd probably want a, a bank of them as well yeah. to actually illuminate the entire uh, scene. And the trouble is I've found that as well, is if you have a bank of them, the Raspberry Pi power supply isn't enough to do it. Yeah. It's so not enough to get it to so you need a separate sort of power source. Yeah. There's not a lot on the GPIO pins. No. no. And I'm also I'm powering an Arduino off the same Raspberry Pi through, through the USB. And when I I built myself a an infrared lamp because it was about 20 quid to buy one. But I built one out of a few resistors for I don't know about a fiver or something and that when you actually plugged it into the Raspberry Pi and powered it through the Raspberry Pi it actually made the Raspberry Pi screen it actually say squealed so there's not enough current in there at all so you do need to have an external power yeah I've got what I've got well, yeah, I've been using stuff like motion and um, oh, I can't remember what the other one is. No, I can't remember. But motion, if you use motion, that's the, the motion capture stuff and that'll give you a live feed. It's quite a few things.